I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. <laughs> back to my freaking channel as you can see by the title i'm gonna do this ponytail today for you guys and um, i may have to do another video because i don't know if it, you guys could see i haven't edited it yet so i don't know if you guys could see but i did my best and uh this is my first time if you want me to record another one because of um clarifications i can either a do another one or b i can link another youtuber who kind of did this or uh, basically who i got this from under in the description box so you guys can watch hers as well just to compare the two um i did mine's a little bit different than she did i did braiding hair instead of i think she leaves like a piece of track out and wraps the hair around but i didn't know how to do that so i just took some braiding hair that i have because i always do the braided ponytails and did it that way so if you guys like my hair continue to watch the video and thank you so much for your patience and thank you for supporting me but let's go ahead and get into it so basically what I use for this is Avi flat irons. You can use a hot comb at your choice. I have the old fashioned ones where you gotta leave them on the stove. Cause baby girl did not upgrade, okay? And get the electric one. I use this um, black Jamaican castor oil to have my hair shiny and just so that it'll hold in the ponytail. I use this gotta be glue um, just to hold my hair. It's not really glue, it's free spray. Basically to hold my hair intact. Um, I used a lot of this. Actually, I'm out. So, if you don't get anything else I just said, get that. To sleek these edges back to have them on fleek, I used the 24-hour edge tamer. And um, I like this because I don't know if I mentioned in the video already. But I like this is because it doesn't make my hair wavy. Like, it's not water-based. I think... Okay, I dropped it. But this is what it looks like. Uh, it has the mega hole and like I said, it doesn't make my hair wavy. You can get this at any beauty supply store. You can get all this stuff at the beauty supply store because this is where I got it from. You need some rubber bands, like four, like I say a pack of rubber bands, like the little black ones. Uh, you'll see why you need, will need those. You need two or three hair ties depending on you. Um, I use one to hold my hair up and while I was flat ironing, I use, you know, some to when I was trying to part my hair and flat iron it, I used that to do that. So yeah. Also, you would need a hard brush to slick that hair back. Um, I didn't do edges in this video because I wanted to look super sleek. So um, if you want to do edges, Avi edge brush. When I was flat ironing my hair, I used Bio Silk to get the hair extra silky, Avi, and also it creates shine. Then I used Main Choice. This is basically for shine as well beauty supply store and I got the little bottle and if it's anything else I did not mention then you'll see it in the video okay okay guys so what you're gonna do is start off with your hair flat iron I lightly press mine I didn't like press it sleek enough or silky enough because it's going in a ponytail like and when I press my hair I use bio silk to kind of make it silky especially around the perimeter and if you hear something is thunderstorming and the rain is hitting my window very hard so yeah so um what i'm gonna start doing is brushing my hair i kind of want a high ponytail um a really really high ponytail and i want to do like the barbie little ponytail so yeah Ooh, Having a lot of hair is a gift and a freaking curse. Do y'all think I should leave my size out? Should I like... Woo! That's a lightning boy. <laughs> Child, that sound like drum line outside. So yeah, basically I molded my hair. I want it, I want it like that. So what I'm gonna do is add some shine. Ooh, and it's thick. It's thick. 
Then I'm gonna add some Gotta Be Glue. Um, it's the Blasting Free Spray. It's supposed to hold your hair really, really good. I'm almost out. Then I'm gonna take the 24 hour edge tamer. I got this from $7.99 at the beauty supply store. And I like this one because it's extra mega hole. And I also like this one because this is one of the only edge controls that I use that don't make my hair curl up. So you're gonna put the gel around your perimeter. So when you slick that hair up in that ponytail, Ain't real slick. I'm debating should I leave these little edges out? No, I'm gonna put them up. Cause child, one side higher, longer than the other. You ain't worked out today. Here it is. So you're just gonna like wherever you see like a little hump or a little, you know, where it doesn't look super flat, you just add edge control or gotta be spray. It depends on you. So my hair is in a cute flat ponytail. Perfect. I made my eyes a little chinkier than they already are, but okay. Just adding some more shine. And some more gotta be. Okay, now you see my ponytail is sleek. So before moving on to the next step, um also put a scarf around then i put a scarf around just to protect all the hard work blood sweat tears i just did because baby when i say that was a workout and i was getting frustrated okay the scarf on this part is very important make sure all the hair is in your hand and not tied up in the scarf because if you do this whole thing and you got some hair left out, baby, you have to cut it. <laughs> you got to cut it off. So next what you're gonna do is braid your hair. I like to take a little bit of edge control just so the braid will be really, really tight and it'll hold. I'm just gonna braid my hair and then once I get to the end, tie the ends with a rubber band so it can stay. Okay, so I've got my rubber band, and here comes the fun part. Okay, so you're gonna take the end piece of the track, like this, and put it up to your head, and basically tie this end piece on with the rubber band to your hair.
It's not necessary to double tie, but I'm just gonna double tie. Put another rubber band. There we go, and then you can start wrapping. So start wrapping the track around the hair. So when you get to the end, you're going to take a piece of track and tie it around the base of your hair like this. So I'm grabbing my next piece and instead of tying it on the end like I did, we're gonna go around the top, like I, how I ended the last piece, and tie that around. So I'm taking that piece and I'm tying it around. And I'm gonna secure it with the bobby pin. then continue to tie it.
Okay, so. Okay, so now I have the ponytail and now I have to cover this part up. So you can take some track hair. I don't know how you would do that though. It's another way to do this with using the track hair, but I didn't do it that way because I don't know how. But I'm gonna take some braiding hair like this much and put it around the base and wrap it around my hair one side at a time. So what I mean by that is I'm going to put it there in the middle make sure I have all my hair right there cross it over and tie it in the back and then wrap And this is how it turned out. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. <laughs> Hi, I'm tour guide Barbie. All right, I really need help. I'm clearly on crack. It's not perfect by any means. It's definitely not perfect. But um, I, that, this how me. I'm a stick beside it. Let me put on a little makeup and see how I look. Hold on. So this is the finished look. This is the ponytail. It looks super cute for my first time doing this. Like I said, don't forget to um, spray some gotta be to hold it. I don't know. This is just super cute. Okay. Oh, I just love this ponytail. It's giving genie more than Barbie, but. You get the vibes.